Foundation, and in honor of Cranberry Month, I've got a story to read to everyone. The story is called Clarence the Cranberry Who Couldn't Bounce. It's written and illustrated by Jim Coogan. had finished their spring song. The days were long and sunny. It was summer in the cranberry bog. The pretty cranberry blossoms were visited by busy little bees. By midsummer, the small green berries were formed. One of these berries was Clarence and there were millions of his relatives. Clarence had many famous ancestors. Cranberries greeted the pilgrims. And were very revolutionary. Some even went on long ocean voyages. As he hung from his vine in the sun, Clarence grew large and strong. He obeyed his mother and father and followed all the rules that good cranberries should. He never got too hot, he drank lots of water, and he made sure that the worms stayed away from him. In fact, Clarence was a perfect cranberry in all ways except one. Clarence could not bounce. He tried everything he could think of because he knew that cranberries have to bounce to be perfect. But despite his best efforts, it was still plump. A perfect cranberry has to bounce through the sorting machine at harvest time. Berries that didn't bounce were not taken. He watched his friends and relatives as they practiced bouncing all around him. Clarence was getting desperate. It was starting to look hopeless. He felt so embarrassed that he began to turn red. Clarence was so busy worrying about his bouncing that he never even noticed that all the other cranberries were also turning red. He thought that he must be too heavy to bounce, so he went on a diet. And he began to exercise. Cooler nights were a sign that autumn was near. The cranberry bog was flooded and Clarence felt a great noise coming toward him. Clarence held his breath as the noise came closer. Suddenly he was thrown from side to side and he lost his grip on the vine. Just like a cork, he popped to the surface of the water. It was very, very scary. From the flooded bog, he was shoveled up a ramp into a big truck. After a long ride, he was dumped into a sorting chute at the cranberry packing plant. Clarence found himself heading toward the sorting machine. He was lifted higher and higher and then dumped into the sorting machine. Inside the machine, it was very dark and he felt himself falling. Down he went. It wasn't exactly a ping, but it wasn't a whomp either. He rested in the box and sighed with relief. When it counted, he had made it. But just when he was beginning to relax and feel successful,
successful, Clarence felt himself being lifted out of the box. Clarence heard a loud voice shout, Hey Fred, here's another one. He was placed in a large bowl with other cranberries. He was sure the men thought he really hadn't bounced on his own. The men took the bowl out to the sorting room and away from the packing plant. Clarence was miserable.